54. And this is a first leg on the, uh, the first round of the second leg of Ghana and then Rwanda. The second leg from here, it seems Gambia have already, or Namibia have already qualified waiting for who wins from this group. It means we have another round of matches to play home and away before we secure that ticket to the 2024 WAFCON in Morocco. So it's going to be an interesting match here at the Accra Sports Stadium. And then we'll be going straight to the dressing room to see how this um, players will be coming onto the pitch and then the arrival as well because they are here so this is how it's going to be of course this is the home team and then this is how um the ladies are going to be dressed onto the pitch and then the locker room as you see on your screen here so arrival of the teams as um they arrive onto the in the Accra sports stadium so it was kind of um, a sound atmosphere. People are relaxed. You know, once you've got a, that commanding lead and you are coming into the game, you are just relaxed and then you have to make sure you are poised for this team. They are always a turnaround and always magic when it comes around. So the Ghanaians are poised out and then we'll be seeing the Rwandans um, very soon as they also arrive because they have got nothing to lose anyway. But I always say football is full of magic anything will be coming on tonight this is the away dressing room the rwandans the she amovobis this is how their locker room also looks like with that colors of the yellow and then the blue that is really really interesting to see that colors um lovely lovely colors there it looks like the brazilian team as well it's a kind of a brazilian colors as you see that but rwanda india um, uh, lovely colors there. This is the warm up of the teams as well. The warm up is on your screen, as you can see. So we have the warm uh, dressing, the arrival, and then the playing, the players warming up now on the pitch. So we can see the Ghanaians also warming up and they're making sure they are fully fit for the rest of the 90 minutes. They will enjoy the game, as I said. They have nothing to lose. They have scored seven goals on away road coming here. So this warm-up is not mere formalities, but they will have to keep on going. We need to give the home fans much more entertaining match as um, they deserve because we didn't see what happened in Rwanda. We are here to see at the Accra Sports Stadium. So they need to give us lovely football and the more of the goals here at the Accra Sports Stadium. So this is how the warm-up. The away team also warming up. The she and Mavobi is also warming up now. And then it's quite interesting as to see them putting in that energy. This is what they need to do. They need to also come strong. We went away to win. What shows they can come here to win? So this is how it's going to be like. And then as the World Cup, is the AFCON qualifiers for women. And then it's 2024. We'll be heading straight as the match is about to commence. And I'll be handing over to Esther Abankwa in the commentary position to take us through the next 45 minutes. to a live coverage from Accra Sports Stadium as the Black Queens of Ghana face Rwanda in the return leg encounter of the 2024 African Women's Cup of Nations. Having met six days ago in Kigali, the host will be seeking to get more goals, whereas the visitors, on the other hand, will be seeking to improve upon their performance. I am Esther Abankwa alongside Nafisa Fatal, and it's good to have you with us for this particular game. As the 2024 African Women's Cup of Nations in sight, 
for the black queens of Ghana. How feasible and how possible is it going to be with Ghana's last appearance at the Women's African Cup of Nations to be in 2018 when Ghana hosted the tournament, but unfortunately they couldn't progress and make it to the subsequent World Cup edition. In 2022, they failed to appear in the women's edition as well. But however, here they are with a new quest all together, seeking forward to make Ghana proud, to lift high the flags of Ghana across the continent. A win for them would secure their qualification to the next round of the competition, whereas Namibia are in the wait waiting to meet Ghana in the second round of the competition. This is quite a different formality for the Queens. 7 is our victory in the first leg in Rwanda. That was last week, Wednesday. But here on Tuesday, precisely the 26th of September, here at the Accra Sports Stadium, the Queens are seeking to make sure that before their rapturous fans things turn out in their favor. They are hoping to have a very beautiful game all together to excite and of course give the different kind of entertainment that these supporters will be seeking forward to. They played with flair, they played with Renair, what they played last week in Kigali. But how are they lined up and what exactly is coach Nora Hopsall looking forward to in this game? If you look at the performance of the Black Queens six games under the Swiss international coach Nora Hopsall, out of the six games, the Black Queens of Ghana have scored as many as 21 goals. They had seven of it just last week. But this is a different qualified. The last one that they played here at the Accra Sports Stadium, the Black Queens of Ghana played in reference to the Olympic Games qualifiers. Another feat that they are hoping forward to make records. But how prepared are they? What should we expect? And how different is this game going to be on this blessed afternoon? The likes of Doris Boedua, Evelyn Bedou, Prisla Dubia, and Anastasia Echar, all of them were on target when Ghana played last weekend. But this is a different one. With temperature being 29 degrees, Coach Nora Hopto seeking forward to do what her predecessors couldn't do. And there they have been marched onto the field by the captain of the side for the Black Queens of Ghana, Portia Boache. And Rwanda, on the other hand, who have appeared here in Ghana without their coach, following her suspension by the Federation of Football in Rwanda for comments that they deemed unfavorable to the development of women's football in the continent. All smiles, all ready for action. The camera is set. The players have lined up. What is left is the action. And how would that action be as they seek forward to make everyone proud? We observe the national anthems in some few seconds of these two teams. This is the 2024 African Women's Cup of Nations qualifiers, Ghana versus Rwanda. We observe the national anthem of these two teams. between the Black Queens of Ghana and Rwanda. Now, please, shall we rise as we observe the national anthem for both teams, starting with Rwanda.
National Anthem of Ghana. That was the final bid, the final prayer of the Black Queens of Ghana. Help us to resist oppressors rule as they face their counterparts from Rwanda. Formalities been made before the final huddle and the action set to take place here at the Accra Sports Stadium. The Black Queens of Ghana all smiles. In due course, a lineup of how the players have been with the changes that have been made so far by Coach Nora Hoptal in this game would be made known to you. And this game is live on Max TV, kind courtesy of IMAX Media. And these are some of the formal hurdles that these players would have to go through before the action commences. Priscilla Adubia was on target. Anastasia Echa contributed three goals in Ghana's first leg in Kigali, Rwanda on Wednesday. Portia Bwache today would be without her usual partner or the player that she usually pairs with, and that is Janet Edgery. As coach Nora Hoptal has decided to go for the free back. And that means Portia Boache would still be in goal post. She will still be at the heart of defense centrally for Ghana. And that is a confirmation of the referees who are taking charge of today's affairs. Latifa Lara and then Ami Kuna. A huge game with the penultimate Ben 2024 African Women's Cup of Nations. Morocco is set to host this tournament for the third consecutive time, and Ghana is seeking to be there. Ghana all in red. Rwanda, on the other hand, all in yellow and green. And per the toss, it means Ghana will be playing from left to right. And Rwanda, on the other hand, will be playing from right to left. And that is the bench of Ghana's Black Queens. Jennifer Kudro, who would this afternoon be in the heart of midfield together with Grace Asantua. Jennifer Kujo was recently inducted into the Hall of Fame in her college in the US of A. Hard work paying off. And that is the bench of Rwanda. But here we go, Adi Accra Sports Stadium, Ghana playing from left to right. Rwanda and yellow and green playing from right to left. And these are the charges for Ghana. Cynthia Kolan is in Gopos, Anastasia Cha, Portia Boache, Susanna Amagia, Stella Nyameche, Jennifer Kujo, Grace Asantua, Alice Kusi, and the attackers are Doris Boedua, Priscilla Dubia, and then Evelyn Bedu with a four with a 3-4-3 three, three formation, been the favorite of coach Nora Hoptal this afternoon.
Brandes Lebel was seeking forward to get a better side of grace at Santua. But that is something that has always been a Herculean task to most opponents. At Santua Grace, she opts to leave it for Amas Gia, who finds Anastasia Echar as she wriggles forward by Etta Platin into Authority of Rwanda. Free kick. The first of today's game going the way of the visitors. So that was the nice control from Anastasia Echar. By an attempt to ensure that she still holds on to possession for the Black Queens, she clattered into the Rwandan player. Free kick to Rwanda, Lydia goes for the long one. A Ghana reclaim possession. Evelyn Bedou to Presla Adobia who gets her first touch right, decides to send it back to Evelyn Bedou again. Floor in, going the way of Ghana. Evelyn Bedou. Evelyn, the calf, young player. Asantua Grace. Echa Anastasia with a beautiful cutting for the Black Queens of Ghana. But goalkeeper Diane had to double her effort to tame this attack. That could have been one of the best goals in the early minutes. And that is Anastasia Echa doing what she did last week. Contributing three goals. And there she wanted to start very early as well. the ball very swiftly once again for Rwanda. They have a very huge tax here at the across four stadium over 10 and 7 0 deficit. And if this ends up being successful, we would end up having one of the best comebacks ever in football history. Jennifer Kujo. Stelania Meche back to Asantua Grace. Asantua does it in a very beautiful manner. Sprouting away from over two players of Rwanda. And it starts a chance to take the throw in for the Black Queens. Evelyn Bedou. And Doris Bwedua's effort wasn't on target, not as intended. She had the vision right, but the execution, not the perf. The execution failed her. Go kick. And if you look at the tremendous and incredible performance of Ghana's Black Queens and six games, and the coach Nora Hoptel, they've scored two way to one goals and they haven't conceded any goal at all. That tells you how defensively good they are. They keep scoring but never concede. Evelyn Bedou for Ghana. Presla Dubia sent it back to Evelyn, but the attempt is well blocked. And that was a very committed one from Lydia of Rwanda. And how would you rate that? How can you place Pazwa and Estasia in once again?
that was a great build up by the Black Queens and then it was a good defensive um, by the Rwandans as, as well. Now they have learned so much and then they need to be defending these goals as um, is rightly pushing. Ghana had their first goal in the very second minute and then this time around they are making sure they don't concede that early. At least they could match the Ghanaians a bit before even if the goals will come. It shouldn't be this kind um, or even with this early in the early minutes as they did. And they've done under 10 minutes now and then it's, it's calmly and good for them as they, they considered early in Kigali Sports Stadium in Rwanda. And that's the child for the Black Queens of Ghana. But so uncharacteristic of her, she ends up giving possession away to Rwanda. But that only lasted for some few seconds. If you look at Rwanda, on the other hand, the visitors, their last victory that they had was way back in 2022. And that was in a friendly game that they beat Djibouti by two goals to zero. And since 2022, Rwanda's female national team have not been able to record any victory. And their last five games all have ended in defeats. Prisla Adobia just had to be stopped from causing chaos to the defense of Rwanda. She managed to skip away from the first tackle, but the second one from Sifa Gloria was very intense. Asantua Grace. Free kick. Ghana quickly effects their free kick. Anastasia HR. Anastasia to Jennifer Kujo. And Jennifer through the captain Porsche Boache is back to Anastasia once again. Every Bedu this time around changes and comes to the flanks for Ghana. Evelyn Bedu. Porsche Boache, the captain. Asantua Grace is fouled by Libel of Rwanda. Free kick at a very good position. And this is a free kick that I'm wondering who would take it for the Black Queens because it's a very favorable position as well for Stella Nyamiche. Stella Nyamiche is in there. I could see Evelyn Badu also behind the ball. And they are good in that long drive. So. Jennifer Kujo is also in there with that drive. Priscilla Dubia herself can also kick. So we've got a lot of um, the women to do this job. If they can get it accurate, Ghana might be fetching the first goal in this early minute. Portia Boate and Jennifer Kujo, these two experienced players behind the ball. But who would take it? Looking at how they've positioned themselves. And Jennifer Kujo goes for it, but that is an easy save for goalkeeper Diane of Rwanda. It was well taken though, but the ball was in a very good vision of goalkeeper Diane of Rwanda, Asantua Grace. to Anastasia HR back to Jennifer Kujo. And Ghana are trying their possible best to ensure that they manage to get the Rwanda players out of positions. And as much as the Black Queens are playing a hard line, the Rwandans haven't been able to cause any havoc Jennifer Kujo deals with it in an impeccable manner as Santua Grace loses possession. Goret of Rwanda. She thought she could have seen the run of Dorothy, but Dorothy couldn't 
and spray that pass coming through Ghana weekly possession Amagia to Anastasia Echa who has been very instrumental so far seeing most of the ball and places this for Presla Dubia she cuts in but she found Gloria Claes for Rwanda A last week Wednesday they had conceded two goals by this time already in the game. Goal kick. Goal kick. As you approach the fifteenth minute of the game. The scoreline still remains goalless here at the Accra Sports Stadium. It's the qualifiers for the 2024 African Women's Cup of Nations. And this is the first round of the tax for the Black Queens of Ghana. Evelyn Bedou to Anastasia Echa. Chris Ladovia. And the ball is stolen off her feet by Lydia of Rwanda. You would say that this is an improved performance so far in the early minutes for the Rwandans. Yes, it's, it's an improved side of this. Um, she and Mobudis since they came here. And then look at it. Is it the magic of the, the assistant coach taking over from the, the coach herself? Is it making a trick or they are just being defensively not to concede more goals? Here at the Cross Post Stadium. Posture watching. Stella Jennifer Kujo. But it's going to be several hold up as a player of Rwanda. It's on the pitch and it's in need of attention. So that was the first breakaway by Stella Nyameche before she was stopped by Diana Jimana. And coach Nora uses this time to have word with Anastasia Echa. And definitely these are some of the moments that coaches always would love to have those chest chats those pep talks, those reminders to the players. Ghana Supporters Union ever present. As usual here at the Crossbow Stadium. They did that for the Black Stars fortnight ago and they are here doing it equally and same measure for the Black Queens of Ghana. Ghana needs to qualify for the 2024 African Women's Cup of Nations. We are just a huddle away, and that would be against Namibia. Namibia having beaten Gambia, it means they happen to be the only team standing between Ghana's qualification. Doris Bwedua, Doris Tess manages to send it back, but not on target. And every attempt that is well defended by the players of Rwanda, they celebrate it as if they've scored a goal. I said this is an improved version of themselves, and they are showing everything possible that they need to defend that amount of goals. Definitely, if we considered as many as seven at the Kigali Pele Stadium, you'll be thinking on the return um, fixture, you need to reduce it, or even not for anything, you need to make sure it counts. So you can see that they came with a defensive-minded, and they are making sure they are doing it right. They are being disciplined and making sure no ball goes past them, from the keeper to the defense line. They have dropped in very deep, as they did in Kigali. For how long would they be able to do that? A team that is not having their head coach 
in the dugouts following her suspension by the Rwandan Football Federation for her unfavorable comments that she made after Ghana humbled them by 7-0 and Kigali. She made comments that the Federation itself deemed not fit. Looking at how football has evolved in the African continent and globally and how the Confederation of African Football is looking forward to rub shoulders with the Western world. Such comments and the description that she gave the Black Queens of Ghana was so not good. I was hoping perhaps that the Confederation of African Football could have at least even added some kind of penalties to it. We need to have sanity in the game and unfortunately those comments were not even mailed by the opposite sex. Uh, Rasta, once she's been suspended, maybe uh, measures will be taken uh, to see what kind of punishment to be given to, whether she deserved that or... It's just an unfortunate uh, comment coming from her. I wasn't expecting that much because looking at the African continent, they have been so many teams that have considered more than seven, eight and nine goals respectively. And from, coming from her, I was disappointed though, but we all feel her things considering seven at home. Ghana on the front foot once again. But Lydia, what of that danger for Rwanda as we approach the 20th minute of the game? Stella Nyameche, the Dreams Ladies player. Doris Boedua to Jennifer Kujo. But Diane gathers the ball for Rwanda. The last time Ghana's, Ghana's Black Queen suffered a defeat was in 2022, and a friendly that they played against their counterparts from Morocco. The ball is sent in and a header from Evelyn Bedou. It ends up being ballooned away. She couldn't get that fetch well enough. A good cross from Priscilla, and I was expecting Evelyn to do better. The flight of the ball, I think, delayed a bit, and that it made the defense um, not favorable for Evelyn to have that connection. Corner kick for the Black Queens. It swung in. Priscilla Dubier's header was blocked, and another attempt by Evelyn Bedou once again cleared off to safety. It will be another corner kick for Black Queens. And this corner kick has been taken by the captain, Portia Bwache. And the referee is having a serious word with Zawadi of Rwanda. Portia Bwache effected, and this is another fragile one, not too much of expected. From Portia in an attempt to make comments, commits a foul. Free kick to Rwanda. 20 minutes played here at the Accra Sports Stadium between Ghana's Black Queens and Rwanda. The scoreline remains 0 0. So, early substitution for Rwanda. And that means that they needed to make that substitution following the inability of Florence to continue with the game for them. It was offside against Rwanda, the advantage going the way of Black Prince. Black Queen's last defeat was in 2022 in Morocco. Since then, six games, six wins, 21 goals. Amadia to Pasha Bwache. 
Portia to Stella Nyamiche, the youngest in the setup so far. Of course, I like the transformation of this um, lady, Stella Nyamiche, being the captain of the under 20, just ended under 20, Wafupi Zone Championship, seeing how she played a vital role for them winning that, camp that tournament and coming into this, moving into the Black Queen team. I felt that was something that she will always love to do much more and more. Stella Nyamiche for Ghana's Black Queens. Stella to Alice Pussy. A strike! One! An incredible goal! An impeccable one! By a goal scored by Alice Pussy. Much to the admiration of her teammates. She just had that pass from Stella Nyamiche. And Alex Pussy, having received that hard pass, raised her head, saw the position of the goalkeeper, and slotted it in. What a traveling strike to give Ghana their first goal here at the Accra Sports Stadium. What? How about that from Stella Nyamiche to Alex Pussy and that breathtaking strike? Ghana won, Rwanda zero. Taking Ghana 22 minutes to record their first goal at that past four stadium. What a fabulous shot from Alice Kusi. Don't forget, she scored one at the Kigali Pele Sports Stadium in Rwanda. She came in and then, as, as you can see, sometimes she just looking at the player, the interpositional pass between these players. They are enjoying and loving the game. They are getting to know each other, but as they play, you see that it's much more than getting to know each other. I see they have been family for that very long time and they are delivering it. You can see that shot from Alice Kusi. I don't think the keeper was even expecting that because most of them, they like to move into the box before driving. But this one, she took the keeper on away and De Diana doesn't mean what the deflection that deceived her because at a point, it looks it was just going up. It's just a kind of a goal that you say thank you to the goalpost. And Alice Kusi haven't been very decent in this game so far. Not much has seen, have been seen of her so far. And only when she was seen, you realize that she came out with that wonderful goal. And look at how the Ghana Supporters Union have been thrown to an unconfined moment of joy for that goal. A goal that was applauded by even the opponents. That is how good Ghana's women's football have indeed evolved. Week in, week out, in the Women's Premier League, we see screaming and standing goals being scored. And at the national team level, that is also not exempted. A clear indication of such goal is what Alice Kusi has just done. And as such, it means that after 25 minutes, Rwanda will need to overturn 80 0 deficits before they can stand the chance through maybe the spot kick of progressing to the next round at the expense of the Queens of Ghana. Jennifer Kujo to Anastasia Echa, who changes her position once again. Evelyn Bedou back to Anastasia Echa. Alice Kusi back to Jennifer Kujo. Amadia to Alice Kusi and look at that half volley of a pass from Alice Kusi to find Chris Ladubia who manages to send across and that is the second. This is another beautiful goal. Alice Kusi gets another goal but the replay will make us see whether Chris Ladubia scored it herself or Alice aided it into the back of the net. How it all started, Chris Ladubia having sprouted away from Lydia, sent in this wonderful delivery in, but it was already a goal. Chris Ladubia 
had already scored that goal from this pitch of a ball that found the back of the net. She was on target last week and here she is once again on target. So it was the woodwork again from here. So it's just making it not visible to see unless uh, Alice could see had the last touch, but it seems she was inside on the foot before the ball also deflected from the woodwork. And then it looks as if, for me, it seems it's um, Bedu, uh, Bedu who scored, uh, Bedu, is it? Prisla who scored the goal. She had the last touch before that goal was connected. Ghana to Rwanda zero. Nine, nine, of course, nine goals as credit for them. On aggregate, it would mean that Rwanda would need to score 10 goals to progress. Presla, Edubia, corner kick. Presla, Edubia manages to get corner kick for. Ghana, but she did that at a cost. She did that at a cost. Fortunately for the Black Queens of Ghana, Prisla Adovia is back on her feet and will be able to continue with the rest of the game for the Black Queens of Ghana. Koshia Boate to take the corner kick and once again not the best of deliveries from the captain. Another corner kick to be taken by Ghana's Black Queens. Stella Nyamecha with a short one. Stella sent it back but that was too much. Wasn't on target. And it was too much of a strike for any of the players of Black Queens to have a fetch on it. And it's 30 minutes. Ghana's goalkeeper, Cynthia Findi, has not made any save yet. She's on the pitch, part of the players, but the only player in the Ghana's Black Queen setup that is currently without a touch in 30 minutes. She had a, a one touch uh, at the early minutes, but virtually she is on holiday. No save at all. Good interception by Amadria Stella Nyameche to Evelyn Bedu and another one to Presla Adobia. And Presla this time around. And up sending it into the straight arms of goalkeeper Diane of Rwanda. Mr. Bia is looking too powerful on the wing for this Rwandan. They have been decent in the very first edge and they are keeping, making sure there is no more goals. But it seems it's not difficult for them. Once the goals have dropped in, it's difficult for them to, to even get closer to what it is. It looks as if Adibia is having a free time and she is getting injured. I guess it will be an early change looking at her body language in this very first half. Jennifer Kujo for Ghana's Black Queens with a first to go 10. Back to Anastasia Cha. And Anastasia runs into traffic. Kosha Boache gets it back, locates Asantua Grace, Asantua to Stella Nyamiche. And Ghana on the front foot, Stella Nyamiche strikes. You would say this is an ambitious one. She has that trademark though. Unfortunately, it wasn't on target. And this is what most of the fans will be very happy to see very young players being given the opportunity to play alongside the experienced ones. 
and that is where they tend to get the exposure, the experience. And when the attire is right, they gradually begin to fit in and they end up giving deliveries and of course good performances. Of course, I like the blend of Nora's girls, the young, the old, the experienced, everyone is putting in. And you can you, you, it's very difficult to even tell who has come and who has been there for that very long time. When it comes to football and we've been given a position or it's been given an to do, you need to make sure you deliver it. And this is what Esther is doing. She has swapped from the left to the right again, making sure she's just enjoying herself and then playing so well that I'm, I'm really enjoying Esther playing in this senior national team. Corner kick to the Black Queens of Ghana. Anastasia Cha does the honor, but it's resulting in another corner kick. And Ghana have had the most of set, set pieces so far in this game. Corner kick. Another one for Ghana to make it count. Already two goals in the first half. It's swung in. There is Bedouin's header. Blocked by Jumana of Rwanda. Porsche Watsi sent it back. Prisla Dubia lacking around, but goalkeeper Diane does the most to gather for Rwanda. Amadia to Porsche Watsi with that side delivery in. Alex Pussy couldn't get the great header that she was anticipating for, but goalkeepers at lightness level was very remarkable as she started, and Daddy Kobe came at a cost, which means she needs treatment before the game can continue. Ghana's Black Queens, a team that suffered their biggest defeat on the 22nd of July 2016 when they played against Germany in a friendly game. And that huge defeat was 11-0 margin. And that has been the huge defeat that the Black Queens of Ghana have suffered. Haven't had their beat aside their successful side have been another strike that a replay of the goals that were scored. The first goal from Alice Kusi. Where Stellan Amateur set her up. And that is why it's often said that strikers have the quickest of anticipations. She realized that the goalkeeper was off her lines. And wanted to make sure that she made that count. And how about this from Priscilla Adubia? She sent in that cross, the woodwork, but Alice Pussy, who was lurking around once again, had that important touch to ensure that Ghana gets their second goal. The Black Queens of Ghana, their biggest victory so far in football history since it was formed has been their 13-0 victory over Guinea in Conakry on the 11th of July 2004. And others were looking forward to the first time that Ghana's Black Queens had their first international game. And that was way back on the 16th of February 1991 against Nigeria. But in their first international friendly, they were humbled, they were trashed by five goals to one by the Super Falcons of Nigeria. But since then, their performance have come in handy. They've picked up their pieces. They've made an edge for themselves. They are seeking until the recent look at their performance. They are seeking to make sure that they go back to their glorious days. And they are hoping to do that through 
qualification to the 2024 African Women's Cup of Nations. That Morocco is waiting for all the would qualify for this prestigious tournament for women in the African continent. Alice Kusi, with that unlooking pass to find Asantua Grace, Evelyn Bedou, Evelyn still with the ball, is well placed. And how about this? For the third goal for Ghana, and coach Nora Hopto. Alice Kusi underscores shit again. She's got this powerful drive in around the box. She doesn't give chances to any. That is the trademark of a striker. When you have these chances, you need to bang in. And look at that bubbling stick shot again from Alex Kusi. This is wonderful here at Accra Sports Stadium. You can see the fans really enjoying themselves. And they are thinking and still counting as it going to be another seven. Because at the Kigali Pele Stadium, the first half ended in the three goals to nil. And they are doing it, and it's 37 minutes on the mark. Esther, more goals coming. <laughs> Ghana's block, quiz three, Rwanda zero. If seven zero was difficult on aggregate, was difficult. How about ten zero on aggregate? Salada Meche, Evelyn Bedou, and that is the fourth. And Ghana's Black Queens are running route here at the Accra Sports Stadium. But always take a look at their build-up. Their build-up is always exceptional. And Stella Nyameche was at the heart of this build-up. Initially to Evelyn, to Priscilla Dubia, whose first attempt was a bit kind of save to buy goalkeeper before it was just had to be tapped in by Doris Guedua. So Ghana Ghana leading by four goals to nil in the very first half. 38 minutes gone and it seems they are enjoying themselves. The defense of the Rwanda was broken and it looked as if the goal wasn't taken. Was it an offside? I guess it was an offside, Esther. Looking at where Selena Mitchell passed the ball from, I guess it was a clearly offside. We were thinking it was a goal from here. Just when Ghana thought they had gotten their fourth goal, the officials, having read the game through, realized that they were in offside position. But how did Chris Lodge be amazed this? Presla Adubia, they should have been on target. World sent in by the Stasia and Presla Adubia couldn't send it home. Corner kick, 40 minutes. Ghana still cruising to the goals that have been scored by Alice Kusi. to end the first half and this has a corner kick of Koshia Bwache has been well headed away Koshia Bwache to Jennifer Kujo Jennifer to Koshia Bwache and Adansini clears the lines for Rwanda, only as far as where Anastasia Echa is, but it has been faded away by Zawadi of Rwanda. So because the fourth goal was ruled offside, it means the scoreline still remains Ghana 3, Rwanda 0, with just four minutes to end proceedings for the opening half. Stella Nyameche. 
sell her to Amadia. And now they have engaged their goalkeeper in the 40th minute once again. You would say the second of her touch in the opening half. Stella Nyamiche to Priscilla Dubia. Amadia to Jennifer Kujo. And in all the goals that the Black Queens have scored, their transitions, their movements have been top notch. How about this for another wonderful build up? A layup pass to Evelyn Bedu, and this will make it the fourth. Just when I was starting on their build up, another wonderful build up results in a very beautiful goal to give Ghana their fourth goal in the first half. And Anastasia Echa at the heart of it once again, her contribution to it. But look at that first touch to just get the ball off the hands of goalkeeper Diane before Evelyn Bedu just passed the ball into the net. Got a four, run the zero. This is how the Ghanaians or the Black Queens are enjoying their match. Look at how Evelyn Bedu just calmly just took the position make sure everything was it. just throw it past the goalkeeper and then slaughtered in, in the goals. It's something that you can't take it away from Evelyn Badu when it comes to set matches. And she's been quite calm. She got two goals in the first leg and then grabbing another one here. It's just that it's difficult for the Rwandans to defend their lines. It's now 11-0 on aggregate for Ghana. 11-0 on aggregate. Others were wondering what indeed were the hopes, what indeed was inspiring rather for them to be at the Accra Sports Stadium. Having been trashed in their own country on Wednesday, but that is how it's usually done. It's usually a double leg affair, and the second leg is usually given for the team that suffers a setback in the first leg to make comments, or perhaps the team that made a very good effort to seal their qualification to the next round. But with the turn of events here at the Crespo Stadium, you would say that is what the Black Queens of Ghana are doing. Another chance to make it 5-0 in the first half. But Santua Grace, who is hoping to have a bite of this particular one, Anastasia Cha, the former Pimdakwa left back, doing the most in this game for the Black Queens. Goreth for Rwanda. Goreth sent it back to Uwasi. Rwanda hoping for a better build up, and that is another save that has been swiftly made by Cynthia Coland for Ghana's. Black Queens. Evelyn Bedu. But Evelyn Bedu is stopped by the captain Lydia. And it will be three minutes of additional time. Uh, three minutes for Rwanda to hold on and avoid conceding another goal whereas the three minutes could be another blessing for Ghana's Black Queens to get more goals Asantua Grace to Doris Boedua Asantua Grace with our return pass but say she wasn't looking forward to 
couldn't get that. And that passed to Diane Jumana, who found herself in an upside position. She decided not to even engage it because once she does, she would be flagged offside. Abedia to Boshia Boache. Black Queens of Ghana have been majestic so far in the first period of the game. Echa Anastasia to Alice Kusi. Alice to Doris Wedwa. Jennifer Kujo to Amadria. Jennifer gets the ball back with a good turn. But Santua Greens once again loses possession out to Rwanda. Stella Nyamete bites with your end. Stella Nyamete for Ghana's Black Queens. With a drop down, it's just 45 minutes away for Ghana's Black Queens to begin to plot how they would find their way ahead of their counterparts from Namibia in the second round of qualifies. The target is Alcorn to be hosted in Morocco next year. That and nothing more. Amadria, but referee haven't seen enough for the first 45 minutes. Lose a whistle. Ghana 4, Rwanda 0. And the lady who is walking down the tunnel, Alice Kusi, is a player that has indeed delighted not only the technical team of the Black Queens, she has as well for the entire Ghanaian public. Ghana for Rwanda zero for the first half. This is how the team walked onto the pitch for the first 45 minutes. And before everything commenced, they needed to recite their national anthem once again, pledging the allegiance to give nothing but their best in the game. Portia Bwache, knowing the tax at hand, she was so much focused. And so were the other players. Rwanda. We're heading into this game with a 7-0 defeat that they suffered in Kigali. Ghana, on the other hand, we're heading into the game in a very buoyant mood, having gotten seven goals already. They needed just some few goals. The focus was to entertain and, of course, delight the fans who have made it here to cheer them on. And this was the first attempt from Anastasia Echa. It was quite a very good delivery altogether. And that cut back, which found the feet of on Russian Alice Kusi. As Antoine had gone as first free kick, but Jennifer Kujo couldn't make it count for Ghana's Black Queens to get their first goal. But as it's often said, if at first you don't succeed, you need to go again. And that is how the Black Queens of Ghana continued 
with their huffing and puffing, seeking for the goal, with this attempt going wide with Chris Ladrovia having made that goal delivery in, but Evelyn Bedu couldn't get the best of touches. And Stella Nyamete decided to send it to Alice Kusi, whose traveling strike gave Ghana the first goal here. And that was indeed a reprieve for the team because they had already scored countless goals in the first leg in early minutes. But to have played for over 20 minutes without a goal was something that they deemed as a difficult one. But Alice Kusi gave them that reprieve and they had that goal that they so much were seeking forward to. Prisla, with that sanctuous delivery, Alice Kusi, who was lacking at the extreme end of the goalpost, so much strategically positioned, had that important touch to make it the second for Ghana. Huge goal. But through it all, you look at those passes, those controls, those deliveries, they've always been very impeccable, incredibly swung in to give Ghana the second. There is Wedwell's Heather here, who wasn't on target, but they needed to get more goals, and as such, they kept probing. And this was another one of his goalkeeper, Diane Ward. in a very good position to gather for Rwanda. And that meant that they have denied Ghana the chance to have gotten another goal. But since Stella Nyamete found herself in an offside position, it meant that Doris Wedwell's goal that she wanted to celebrate wouldn't count. Anastasia Cha, in her usual element, gave a beautiful pass to Evelyn Bedu, who just after making sure that the goalkeeper wasn't going to cause any problem, just sent it in very beautifully. So that meant Ghana got their fourth goal. You always look at that build-up that always plays a very vital role. And that, however, that for a pass, they have volley of a pass from Anastasia Echa, Ghana, running route. That was, in other words, the closest that Rwanda have come in this game for the opening half and Zawadi couldn't find the back of the net for Rwanda. So it ends here as we across Sports Stadium, the second leg of the first round of the 2024 African Women's Cup of Nations qualifies. It's the Rwanda zero, Ghana's Black Queens four. Everybody knows 
acrobato. And if you know acrobato, it means you know M point homeopathy clearly. As an international journalist and actor, my health is my priority. M point homeopathy clinic is my pillar in terms of my health. Let's hear what others are saying about M point homeopathy clinic. Sister, please, you let him talk to you. Who will be M point one? Ah. That's <laughs> A free bra would the end point what does it? I'm a quiet, you know. Me just a summer name, quiet, a person of my name, you know, and a Medina Sabema. Now, let me be here for you. The one in the air, Jarisa. You heard everything. I have secret. End point is my secret. End point from your party clinic. I'm free. Embrace the all-new IMAX 32 Android television with advanced modern tech, which gives you an improved viewing experience and unlimited pleasure. The Slim Slick television comes with full HD screen with high resolution and wide color gamut. The top-notch picture quality makes your movies and games five times clearer. With the latest Android 11 version, enjoy all your favorite Android apps like Netflix, YouTube, Showmax on a click. Watch all your favorite Favorite programs non stop with a sharp focus, balanced contrast, and radiant balance. Take a step into a new world of scenery and fantasy with a new IMAX 32 Android television. Available at all Max Buy shops nationwide on online at 1799 Ghana cities only. Visit us on www.maxbuy.com.gh or download the Max Buy app on Google Play Store. You can also call on 05. 596-913-298 or 544 IMAX Smart Life Are you tired of dealing with toilet paper that irritates your skin and clogs your toilets? I mean your dolices? Wait, I have great news for you. Flora Toilet Roll is the game changer. Flora toilet roll is thick, gentle on the skin, and fragrance free, making it ideal to clean your intimate parts as it causes no skin irritations and or allergies. The best part is it is made to dissolve easily, preventing plumbing issues and clogs. Experience the ultimate comfort of Flora toilet roll. No more clocks, no more skin irritations. Yamawa Kwaba, the ban Nadum Auto Fix and Accessories. Aha, dear, a ban of case is here near Wakadia. Ubenya, be a beaha, care be an anyhow, any new here. Yansu ye were winning him before, or best son, we ye are mouth. Nadum Auto Fix and Accessories, ye jume did ye, a year twenty four seven oh. Yes, yes, you engine, who break, battery, yes, a sour tie, the ban of car wash, dear. Ye were a bell from Fidibiti says, Tima, ye don't rock car engine, a brand, soon call engine him, ye sign ye detailing, Mitra said, ye betray your car, no be a mouth. Ye are, ye are, ye are, ye are, ye Kama, who is a car battery, ties, rims, and the kicker count. Manadum auto fix and accessories, Emma Oka, and Sinny Dedem, then where you mama. She shall yet a coin what down Suman, I saw it down who are any KFC boy, her name, a one cry. So open information, a nine cent Bisebia, Fresno two four six five one nine three six nine. Slogan goes, every emotion in motion. My name is Max Bokoman, and today I'm in the motion to tell you more about Techno Come On 20. Get to know it and get yours. Having a phone, you surely have to get a phone that will take correct pictures. One that you will stand out, look at it, and be like, wow, is that really me? That's what Come On series does for you. 
Techno come on to 80, the picture quality, a year jet, over fairly. The back camera has 64 megapixels and the front is 32 megapixels. Trust me, you will love the pictures. With Techno come on 20, the storage is enough for you. That means Uber to be a savior, the baby bre was so. It has 256 gig ROM and 8 gig RAM. That means you have enough storage to save all your videos, pictures, and every content you want to create with this phone. Techno come on 20 comes in two colors, black and serenity blue. One amazing thing about the serenity blue is the back case of the phone is magic skin. It has a leather feel. Come on 20 has an ultra core processor. That's G89 processor and it's fast to do it. Open to tap on screen. Ah, and you have the best A load, now your debit. It's easy to do it. Every app you want to go to, a game you want to play, whatever you want to do on the phone, the screen is fast and easy. BBA is fast, fast. Come on 20 has a long lasting battery. That is 5000 mAh. Now, battery now make a 5000 mAh also. We charge your phone. It's a answer call. You could have it the whole day. Depending on where you are going, don't worry. Just charge your phone. Have it with you and go the battery will last for you with all these unique features about techno come on 20 you will ask how much is it price not at that form it's just a cool 2145 ghana cities and you need to grab yours you could get this for your wife your girlfriend your side chick you get to that business partner who needs a phone trust me are you in the university that you need a smartphone that will help you go easier? The Come On 20 is there for you. Call us now to place your order on 059-409-1122. You can also visit us on Max Buy app to place your order for the fastest delivery nationwide. I'm currently at Max Buy Shop Circle opposite Vodafone. You can also visit all Max Buy Shops nationwide to get yours. The locations are on your screen. Techno Come On 20 series is here for you. Techno Stop at nothing. Brilliant. Luck. Beautiful. This is what makes my hair great. With a little touch of B3 hair relaxer, I got the awesome looks I always dreamt about. Five ingredients. Professional formula. With love from Dudu. Cosmetics. Everybody knows Acrobato. And if you know Acrobato, it means you know M Punch homeopathy clearly. As an international journalist and actor, my health is my priority. M Punch homeopathy clinic is my pillar in terms of my health. Let's hear what others are saying about M Punch homeopathy clinic. Sister, please, you, let him talk to you. Who will be careful M Punch one? Ha! Chesenami and Kasami Prod, let's say problems room. Into now, my own white dear mammy, papa, patches, and any answer. I'm quite a point, you know, I'm shame, my dear mum, maybe be an awesome woman, do mammy do me fine, and my own crammy, you know, who for one I'm quite more, Eba. Tell me, Jedi, I bet you, pa. You had everything yourself. My mammy, no, I do, Joe, at the whole wound to me, Nancy. And then you call end point, or mamma, and then the white dear, what's me, I'm sorry, and Nancy. That's end point for you. Of a brother, too. Hello. Hey, what's your watch? Okay. A free bra would be end point, what does it? I'm a quiet, you know. Me just say my name quickly, and first one my name ringing on, and I'm a genius of a man. Now we need to be here for the one in the jar. You heard everything. I have secret. M point is my secret. M point from your party clinic. It's often said that results determine the technical direction of the respective teams, and that is why the coaches of both sides have deemed fit to change and vary their tactics. For the second half.
So fresh lens for Rwanda. And these players have the next 45 minutes to ensure that where the direction of the team is leading to that has been eliminated from the qualifiers is averted. And those substitutions mean that the goalkeeper, Diane, is also replaced. Diane has also been replaced in the game. Massive substitutions for Rwanda ahead of the next 45 minutes. So the second half commences in earnest. And Ghana, just as they left off in the first half, they have begun dominating once again. Anastasia Cha to Doris Wedua. And Doris is free kick. Prisla committed that challenge. On the wide of Namibia. A referee sporting it. A situation that looks a bit delicate. Needed to court play. Free kick to Namibia. A team that had their last victory in 2022, and that was even in a friendly that they played, 2 0 victory that they had over Djibouti. And since 2022 till September, they haven't scored or won any game. In their last five games, they have lost all. Jennifer Kujo. was a swift one to Amadia. Ama to Captain Poshia Wache. Cynthia Colan, the goalkeeper. Anastasia Echa and Ghana on the front foot once again in the second half. Anastasia Echa with a cutback in. Another mess. And Evelyn Bedou herself knew that that should have been go bound. The impact of Anastasia Echam on the left wing for Ghana has indeed been incredibly beautiful. That should have just been the fifth goal. But it was an excess. Taken by Rwanda's Lydia, and it took just a second for Ghana to get possession back. Anastasia Echa to Portia Wache. Balibel and short this time around that Stella doesn't go bypass her. Referee sporting clearly that the ball had crossed the line. All the circumference of the ball had crossed the line. And as such, it meant that the throwing needed to go the way of Ghana's black queens. 
And there they go at it once again. Of targets. Another theft from Evelyn Bedou. Go kick for Rwanda. Go red. Jennifer Kujo, Asantua Grace. Jennifer Kujo receives the ball back. But the ball is feathered away from the defense of Rwanda by Sifa Gloria. Once the attempt is soiled, it means the Queens will need to regroup and surge forward once again. Jennifer Kujo to Asantua Grace. The midfield dynamite at Santa Cruz, who currently is flying her trade in Mexico. Having left the feminine side of Celta Vigo last season. Zawadi. Zawadi. She was seeking to do the ordinary. Go kick. But that miscue means that Ghana would have to take a go kick. Another player of Rwanda is on the pitch. Looking at how injuries have been a major worry to the technical team of Rwanda, a team that is played without their head coach. Following her unfavorable comments, just because of how they were outplayed, outclassed, and of course, outscored by the Black Queens of Ghana in Rwanda. That means that assistant coach needs to step in. But Ghana, on the other hand, they have a full house for their technical team. Earlier was coach Nora Hoptel. A coach that some section of football fans in Ghana have described as the Messiah of Ghana Black Queens national team. But they have a mission to fulfill. When the president of the Ghana Football Association paid a courtesy call on them as the account proud to this return leg encounter, he congratulated them for their tremendous effort in the first leg and told them that, reminded them of the mission at hand, and that mission is to qualify to the major tournament itself in Morocco, and as well as to win the tournament. So all these, the qualifiers, are those major steps that they need to take towards achieving that enviable feat. Ghana. Vivian and Ghana free kick. She skipped away from the first challenge. Equally did from the second. And will be a Presla. But the defender, Diane Verity, opted for the second principle which means that if you miss the ball you don't have to miss the player so free kick to the black prince of ghana at a very good position asantua grace and Boche 
both of these players have fancied dead. But you would say that perhaps at Santua Grace, my love to rather come up with that attempt in this free kick. Referee ensuring sanity before the free kick is taken. And as Santua Grace goes for goal, but the world does the job efficiently. As Santua Grace ends up running to the traffic. Rwanda, they are hoping to do what they haven't done, and that is getting at least a consolation goal. But looking at the Black Queen's team, a team in six games scoring 21 and yet conceding a single one. On paper, you would say that this is an impossible mission, but in football, you would equally agree to it that impossible is not often rated. Another attempt, <laughs> having gotten the ball off the feet of Portia, watching the captain. She just wanted to ensure that the goalkeeper is caught on aware with an attempt. And it was Zawadi of Rwanda. She had the opportunity of even passing it up, perhaps, rather taking that front row of trying to get a goal for her team. After 55 minutes, Ghana 4, Rwanda 0. I thought it has been a good first half, second half for the Black Queens. And as you can see, the opportunity that was given to the Rwandans, she had a whole lot of space ahead of her that she could have even gone through or even hold on to play for inviting her players to even come closer to give that pass, but she weather gave that drive that went away off the pitch that I was just amazed or surprised for how she could have given that pass because definitely you have players that were ready running through that spaces and she has somebody that she could have converted it. But yeah, the Queens are still making sure they give the fans here that more goals that they want to do in Rwanda. Anastasia Chow with an accelerating run. She still had the chance to set the delivery in. But that wasn't one of her best. Ghana have been very intriguing. They've put up a very wonderful performance. The standard has been top-notch. The delivery and the goals have been very exceptional and sensational, of course. Freak it to Rwanda. Freak it to be taken by Rwanda. 11-0 on aggregate for the Black Queens. A huge deficit. Is it too much as that to, to call the first half as 11 goals to no goals on aggregate? Looking at the two matches, and it seems the Black Queens are still in for more goals. Is it going to be more than the 11 goals that we have seen in the first and the second leg? Looking at the way they are playing, looking at the passes, building from behind, through the middle, and then pushing forward. You could see that these players haven't even lifted their, their legs off the paddle. They are still gearing for more goals, and we are yet to see more goals. The fans are enjoying that as well. A cracking atmosphere here at the Accra Sports Stadium. The Black Queens of Ghana with tantalizing performance so far in the opening half. Corner kick. Abedia with that beautiful pass. And Prisla managed to get that corner kick out of Lydia. It's swung in by Taloots, every player of Black Queens. And Vivian is given a push of the ball. She was just bundled over through that demonstration of elastic strength. 
by Gorette of Rwanda. And there she comes, the sensational defender, ever present, ever potent, ever ready to deliver, Janet Edgeri. One of the best defenders, the finest defenders to grace women's football so far in her generation. Janet Edgeri brought in. And Jennifer Kujo does the job that she was assigned to by her coach. And the coach gives her that handshake for a good job done for the first half. Another substitution as well for the Black Queens of Ghana. Free kick. Taken by Rwanda, Porsche Bwache. Ghana with possession at the moment. They have been relentless and of course ruthless. Stella Nyamete Adubia Prisla another corner kick. Chris Ladd will be out with that silky little flick that end here the corner kick. Porsche Boache has fancied to take this as well for the Black Queens of Ghana. Porsche Boache with the corner kick delivery. Asantua Grace gets it first control, but once again, you would say that Santua Grace hasn't really said much in this game. She hasn't given her all. She hasn't attained the heights that she's noted for. Of course, today she's been silenced in the Queen's team, but yet she's playing a vital and a, a vital role in her positioning as well that she comes in and out of it and she's She's not positioning herself well, that's what I could say. But definitely once the defense has been that uh, silence and the midfield is doing all the work and the forward, it means definitely you might have some silence players on the pitch of play unless they are being called upon to. The dominance of Ghana's Black Queens continue unabated. But that masterpiece of defending by Sifa Gloria for Rwanda means that temporarily they are, have gotten a relief. Janet Ejiri. Amedia. Amedia for Ghana. Evelyn Bedu. Throw in. As she smiles. She just did what she needed to do. That is not to allow the pass to go waste. And they had something out of it though. Throw in. I like the strength of Evelyn. She has played an instrumental role in the Black Queens. Since from Hazakas and then travel all the way to Sweden and coming back to Norway, coming back to the Black Queens, she has mentored. I guess she's mentored her place in this Queen's team and she's doing everything. She's getting the vital goals for her team as well. You can't take that one away from Evelyn. And you could say it's just all rounded. They are getting that kind of um, support from the midfield and then even for the forward, they are just helping each other. It's lovely to watch them play. And that clumsy tackle that Sifa Gloria is fortunate that the referee didn't get a very good view of. And that could have Cause them another one. Doris Boedua was at the receiving end of that clumsy tackle. And I said, Doris has been treated. Coach Mukasonera is the one that traveled with the team for the return leg encounter to Ghana. 
her head coach was crushed by 7 0 at the end of the game. But she is currently trailing by four goals to zero. 65 minutes played so far here. It's a qualifies for the 2024 African Women's Cup of Nations, the first round. After this, it means that Ghana will go through to the second and final round of the qualifies. And the only team to deny Ghana for making it to the 2024 African Women's Cup of Nations is Namibia, because that is the only team that they would be playing against. And that means they have another fact to ensure that the job is well executed as mandated by the president of the Ghana Football Association, President Keti Yesokrebu. Rwanda on the ascendancy, Lois for Rwanda. And how about that for a lovely backflip? Rwanda. And then she also reciprocates. The fact that they are trailing doesn't mean they can't entertain themselves. They need to give their best. They need to play what they are very good at. And that is why they are demonstrating all that here on the pitch of play. Of course, they need to get their fans also get going because we just can't play a match and there's nothing to do as uh, nothing at stake. They need to give in their all and they are here also to entertain their um, fans. If you can't get the goals to entertain them, to get them up their seat to jubilate at least, um, the back leg wouldn't be bad for them as well. I guess they are also enjoying themselves well and they, they will credit themselves for at least conceding four at this point, it's not that bad, but it looks as seen they are not pushing forward to even reduce the deficit. They are just enjoying the game and it seems they are not putting in much more effort rather than keeping on to that tight defense, which has been broken on four occasions by the Black Wings. The drive, the energy, the commitment and the finish from the Black Queens of Ghana have been really exceptional in this game. And the result is there for all at Sandri to make their own conclusions of it. Ghana, Black Queens, Chris Lajobia. Go kick is a decision. And Chris Ladupia has been very good on the right flag for Ghana. Her runs and her deliveries. Doris Wedua. has been replaced by Gifti Asifua. Gifti Asifua is coming in to replace Doris Boidua, and that means that Doris couldn't continue following that knock that she picked due to that clumsy tackle from Lois of Rwanda. And Gifti Asifua is equally one of those experienced players for the Black Queens of Ghana, having played for the under 17, going through the ranks, and now with the Black Queens. Adubia Presla to Stella Nyameche, Janet and Jiri. Amedia. Poshia Boache to Amedia. And the goalkeeper, Ghana playing a hard line so far. And yet, Rwanda haven't exploited any of it so. Amedia. Ghana Blackways, Prisla with strike, Evelyn Bedu to continue what Prisla couldn't. Janet a dream. And that's Doris Wedua, who has just been substituted. And clearly she, ha she isn't a happy figure. She 
to us. That's at that receiving end, which made her pick up a knock on her left eye. Zuwadi for Rwanda. Zuwadi, she has Portia Boache to tussle with. Portia against Zuwadi. And that is a free kick. And if you look at the two players, Zuwadi and Portia Boache, a bit of a strength. Of course, look at how she dazzled her way through the, the, the part of it. that you, you could see that she's just trying and nobody was there to even give that connection to pass. She was just holding on to the ball to make sure her teammates arrived so that she could. But hey, it was a difficult task for her to handle because she couldn't hold the ball for that long. And it's taking a drain, but at least she's won a free kick for her side. Who knows? Um, what will happen? They can reduce. The, it's too close to. Um, it's too close to call. But well, if they could put up a good performance, or they could give a better pass, or a very good cross on the ball, Esther, we can get a goal, or they can get a goal from here. Free kick to Rwanda, and that is the first set piece that they have got into very closest to the goal post so far in this game. They couldn't get any of such in the first half. Neither did they get it in the early minutes of the second half. But they've managed to get it in the 70th minute of the game. And that means Ghana will have this crucial defending to make to avoid soiling their own record of not conceding a single goal in six games, but rather scoring as many as 2-1. Free kick to Rwanda at a very good position, strategically positioned, sent in, but Amadia hurt it off and ensured that it was feathered off the danger zone for the team. So that was a delivery and there was no one there to connect and it was defended well by the Ghanaians. Another corner for them. Corner kick, the first of the game for Rwanda. It swung in, and Cynthia Colan makes a very crucial save to ensure that her record is intact. Timing clearance by Cynthia. Throw in to Rwanda. I would say that in the last two minutes, Rwanda have indeed began to find their feet, trying to cause an upset to the Black Queens of Ghana. Zuadi's Heather, Portia Boache for Ghana, Evelyn Bedou, Evelyn, Evelyn still in control, but Zuadi gets it for Rwanda. Asantua Grace wins free kick and referee calls Sifa Gloria back. That means she is going to get a card for that reckless challenge. And that will be the first yellow card of the game. The first yellow card of the game brandished to Rwanda's authority. It was absolutely a reckless challenge right before the eyes, the very eyes of the referee. Nice. She pulled the shirt of Grace as and when that is always a yellow card of hers. Of course, definitely she couldn't go get away with that right in front of the referee's nose. You really can't get away with that. So Freke, I'm here to take it for the Black Queens of Ghana with just... 17 minutes to end proceedings, perhaps with a number of additional time that will be added by the fourth official. And the referee has decided to use that as a water break since it's the last quarter of the game. So, moment for the coaches to send their messages across. And as a 
expected for the Black Prince of Ghana, Coach Nora Hopto, would encourage the girls to maintain their momentum. They have been an ultra dominant in this game. She's always calm. Of course, Esther, if you get a team that are always making it count and getting all the goals for you, what else do you need to say? It makes your work easier. And Nora Hunter, since coming to join the team, has been reluctant and relaxed because definitely the job is always well executed for uh, her. And I haven't seen Nora under pressure. I'm yet to see Nora under pressure because definitely it's always Ghana who bangs in the goals and then she's always relaxed and then at least have a sound mind to put the team together. And others have been seeking forward to know the team's a strike by Evelyn Bedou, not on target. Go kick. Those who have been seeking to get inside a lot on coach Nora Hapto. She began her coaching in 2009 with Fan. That is a three year spent period with the team before in 2015 to 2020 she was given the opportunity to coach Switzerland under 19 women's team. She continued with her coaching career to Israel's women's national team by coaching the team from 2021 to 2022. And in the year 2023, the Ghana Football Association appointed her to be in charge of Ghana's Black Queens. And since her arrival, as is often said, the rest has been history so far. That was the mission vote out when she came. That was the word she used. And Definitely the team has turned around. It picked up pieces from where they were. And up to now, there has been an improved um, uh, side of the Black Queens. People are saying we are not yet tested, but hey, it's game after game. You meet your opponent as how it comes. So definitely, once she's been able to score as many and yet to concede, we will say Nora Hopter has done a very good job for the Black Queens and we're still moving on. Amadia, Janet, Edgery, whenever I see her in possession of the ball, I smile because her exploits is always remarkable. This is a, a sensational player. Amadia, if you are looking for players that are very divinity, but are always in charge, are always on top of their defensive skills and their defensive duties. Janet is a sure bet. Amadia to Evelyn Bedu. Evelyn Bedu dazzling her way through. And it's freaking. She clattered into the bell of Namibia. Too strong, too strong. Everything has to come down. Definitely, they are still looking for ball goals to round it up, but it's yet to. I've been second half. And Linda Eshen has been ushered in as she comes to replace Presla Adubia, who has been very clinical and lethal up front today for the Black Queens of Ghana. And I'm sure Coach Nora will give her a pat on the shoulder for good job done. Of course, uh, she has played her role in the first half and then till now in the second half. She has been instrumental in contributing to the goal that came, the third goal. She's really done well and she's put in all this is Edubia, who has the physique. When you look at her, you see that, yes, this is players that so far Black Queens have gotten to the extent that when we are talking about their, their work rate, you can't go past Edubia. A variety for Rwanda with a pass with no player of hers in sight. And that means that Janet would have no worry at all. 
and get in the ball and send it to her keeper, Janet Edgery. Janet to grace a trample. Linda Ishen with her first contribution since her introduction. Linda Ishen, formerly of Hazaket Ladies. Throwing way in the way of the Black Queens of Ghana. Linda Ishen with a low drive, cutting into the half of Rwanda, but it's clear. Janet goes as far as where Janet Adri is and Ghana will go from behind once again. Evelyn Bedu. But a robust challenge from Burret denies Evelyn Bedu the chance to find the lane they shared. And because of how inactive Cynthia Colan has been due to the inability of Rwanda to give a lot of intense pressure on the defense of Ghana. It means that Cynthia Colan, the goalkeeper, has to be virtually almost at the heart of midfield so that she can equally be engaged and involved in the game. the front foot, but Varati gets the ball for Rwanda. They are doing well so far, Rwanda haven't conceded despite the dominance of Ghana as well and again in the second period. Asantua Grace to Amadia Ama to Captain Portia Wache. Sablam fully pass, but Linda is shared. Couldn't get the right cross into the penalty area of Rwanda. A fan who is in his own element. Linda could have done better on this uh, for looking at that. Accurate pass that was given to her, she should have kept her composure, make sure she makes it down, swing in and see who will be arriving in the box to connect it back. It was face away. As it stands, with just eight minutes to end the game, you would say that the victory is, of course, unassailable for Rwanda. They can't overturn such a level zero deficit. And the means the road ends here for them in the qualifiers, and they would have to wait for the next edition to try finding their way through to the major tournament. Go kick. Cynthia Colan, Asantua Grace, Asantua Grace back to Janet Ejiri, Linda Shed, Thread, and the end is. It is a sorry end for Rwanda, whereas it is a delightful end for Ghana. Portia Bwache, Portia, corner kick. Portia with the one-two-one -one pass with Evelyn Bedu, Asatua Grace, Portia Bwache. This number of money is to send that delivery in, and that is the fifth goal. Calmly done 
but it has been flagged offside. She found herself in an offside position. Yes, she was. This is quite a very delicate decision, quite close. The margin is very close. As at the time of the delivery, a very tight close. She, she could have, she could have positioned herself. Call, of course, made. She could have positioned herself better. She was in an offside position, but when she saw her player on the ball, she should have made it count, or she should have left it for the player behind to have, have had everything. Looking at it, it took them the time for that call. But when the cross was made, she herself knew she was in an offside position. Clearly offside for my angle here. Another goal flagged offside. So that means two goals ruled offside. Had the Ghanaians timed their run to perfection, it would have meant that by now, the score that would have been six. Of course. Virtually close to last week's results. Very close to last week's results. But Esther, we also had an upside goal in Rwanda and we missed a penalty. That could have resulted in nine goals in Kigali Pele Stadium in Rwanda. Moment of elation for Ghana Supporters Union. Lydia Lydia to take it for Rwanda Zuwadi the lone ranger afro for Rwanda Zuwadi on the ascendancy and Amadia is right there once again, it's followed away. Zawadi has been the striker that Rwanda were counting on to make the difference for them in this return leg encounter. But she hasn't been fruitful. She's not getting that uh, needed support for her to make sure that that connection or that swing in make it count. But it just are always. She's been left alone to do that job and she's all by herself and it's, it will take a miracle for her to weave her way around into the box to even get that a go back. Three minutes left to end proceedings. Awaiting the additional time for the fourth official. The chap on to Asantua Grace. The advantage going the way of the Black Queens. Jeanette Edry back to Lenda Eshen. And these are players that have played for a number of seasons during their playing days at Hazakis Ladies. To grace a chapel, a Santua Grace with another miss pass. Porsche watch it as Wadi gets it for Rwanda. Janet Edry heads it off. Grace a chapel. Ghana will be playing against Namibia in the next round. A victory in a double leg affair would secure Ghana's qualification. A return to the prestigious tournament in women's football for the African continent. And that is the African women's of nations. The host nation is Morocco. A 
Mohamedia, Asantua Grace. For the remaining minutes, the Queens of Ghana would love to still hold on to possession and dominate. However, that for that gently crest, crisp, cool control by Janet Ejiri. I started been talking about Janet and it's not as tough not to see her display this beautiful um, display on the field of play. She has been solid since she came on the pitch. And you always say that you see her in defense. You ask yourself, with Janet, who can go past Janet without you having a very tough time? And she always gives her opponent a tough time. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter how you, your, your stature is on the field of play. Janet will make sure you are nowhere near her and when it comes in defending. So we have just four minutes to end everything here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Asantua Grace to Linda Eshel. And looking at the scoreline and also bearing at the back of your mind that the little attacker, Mary Amponsa, has been given the rest for today. Of course, I was expecting her to be um, on the pitch today, even for the second half, but well, we don't know whether she's picked up a knock or there is something wrong that we haven't seen her on the field of it. Maybe we need just reluctant to put in more goals as a stand because definitely you have had all what you wanted. And this is where Ghanaians will be looking forward for the next match. Corner kick taken by Linda Shen. But... Rwanda with good clearance. Porsche up watching for Ghana. Free kick. You would indeed realize that Rwanda, based on the pep talks given by their coach, has tried just to whisk her away and still in your the early. Had a goal. How about that? Without any touch at all. A traveling one it was. That was a powerful drive from Esther Yamiche. The technique was just superb. Just. These are the five margins that comes to play. And these five margins have saved Rwanda from conceding the fifth. It is game. Janet agree with the good interception. Asantua Grace to Stella Nyameche. Ghana looking for their fate before proceeding to end. Stella Nyameche, and this is a goal. The young, sensational player. The captain of Ghana's under 20 women's national team, who, following the confidence report then held by the coach, has scored her senior goal, Stella Nyamete. And she does it in a very dazzling manner. Two players skipped away in a very beautiful manner, the technique that came along with the execution. Just a few minutes ago, she tried her hands on that and it went just a little bit away. And this time around, she made sure she has put the icing on the cake just to close. This is how Esther leaves a trademark at the Accra Sports Stadium. Just you. I'm just uh, loving the way this young girl has come into the senior national team and it's, it's just like it's easy. Nora has made it easy for everyone to have a go at it when you come at the Black Wings. Stella Nyamichev rolled it in in a very beautiful way. This is lovely, beyond description. Too much good for her age. Janet Adri. 
Ghana with just 10 seconds left hoping to get the seat. It's all over here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Ghana have got it 12-0. Aggregate to victory over Rwanda. And Stella Nyabeche, the youngest in the Black Queen's team, she was the one who had the ice and on the kick for the Black Queens of Ghana. This is a resounding and, of course, a comprehensive victory. The dominance of the team, both in Kigali and at Accra Sports Stadium, has indeed been very overwhelming. Coach Dora Hoptal has done the job for this round in an impeccable manner. Now she has another task at hand. She would play against Namibia in the month of November, and that would determine the fate of the team, whether they would make it to the Metro tournament in Morocco. They will be having a date with Destiny in November in their quest to make a return to the African Women's Cup of Nations. But until then, here at the Accra Sports Stadium, it is a moment of unconfined joy, delight, elation for the team and the fans who trooped in here to watch them play. It's kind of fall. Ghana getting five goals at the end of the game, Rwanda zero. A successful end for the Black Queens, but a sorry end on the other hand for Rwanda. So second half, just how it all began, Evelyn Bedou was hoping to at least once again get a goal just as she did on the stroke of the opening half. But those attempts were not meant to be. It's a wild for Rwanda. She did her best. And here, getting her the free kick. That was the closest that Rwanda came in this game. The delivery here through the set piece which was it a target for Rwanda. And it was Dorothy who took the free kick for them. And Ghana needed to defend this to ensure that they get a clean sheet. Portia Wache, the captain for the team, Today it was very phenomenal with her performance. Evelyn Bedou's effort here went wide. And that meant that the goalkeeper needed not to make any save since it wasn't on target. And Porsche watching getting this opportunity send that delivery but it says the player was in an offside position the referee had to disallow that goal as Santua Grace realizing that she was already in the offside position left it for Porsche Boachi to continue with what she was doing But after that final header, it meant that Ghana couldn't get the goal at that moment. Stella Nyameche came this close 
to get in the feet for Ghana. But it was just narrowly missed. It was missed narrowly. And that was when the girl realized that she needed to push further. Maybe, just maybe, luck could shine on her. As it has been right from the blast of the whistle in this game, Ghana always building from behind, they continued. And this is where luck shone on Stella Nyamiche. She had this to make it five for Ghana's Black Queens. Much to the displeasure of the coach for the day. On the other hand, to the delight of coach Nora Hopto. She knew that the job has been beautifully done by her girls. And the young player getting her senior goal. And these are memories that will stay with her for years to come. That goal made Ghana's goes to be five for the day. After getting the fifth, the queens were still hungry, but referee haven't seen enough ended the game. So it ends here at the Accra Sports Stadium. 2024 Women's African Cup of Nations qualifies for the first round. It's Ghana five. Rwanda zero. Thanks so much for making time with us. This advert is FDA approved. Hello, mommy. We are hungry. I'm going to call Auntie Becky to make something for you and Amma, okay? Auntie Becky. Becky, make sure you make something fast and delicious for them. No problem. and I've been saying. <laughs> if you ever want something quick to eat, always choose one. You can have it anywhere, anytime, anyway. It's great for the whole family. We are invited. One product makes easy, fast and delicious meals.